Ron Hornaday was on the outside. They had a great restart. He stayed to the outside until he got down the back stretch, and then he moved to the inside, got the preferred line, and ran him up the racetrack. And now we're hearing that Ron Hornaday is being scored your race leader. Ray. Just to add to that, Kyle Busch just got on the radio, and he said, what should I do here, guys? Eric Phillips' crew chief said, go to. What go to means is change your ignition box. They have different igni ignition systems here. They go to the backup, go to number two. That may mean a little bit of a different situation for them on the restart. Hermie? Yeah, on the Ron Hornaday Jr. radio, they're talking to Ron, and Ron actually came on the radio and said, I got in the corner a little bit hot and moved Kyle, uh, moved Kyle up the racetrack. I, get he's I guess he's probably mad about now. And Jeff Hensley, crew chief, comes on the radio and says, Oh, he'll be all right. So we'll see what happens. <laughs> he'll be all right. You know what Ray was talking about, them moving to another ignition system. There's two complete ignition systems, probably a little more ignition timing. That, that engine will probably run just a little bit better with a little bit more timing. Not something you want to do for 150 laps, but for three or four laps, going to be fine. Probably a little more timing and a little more RPM. Uh, the, the rev limiter, maybe you got it set where you're at certain RPM. That's going to take it up a notch. So, yeah, you're going to get a little more performance out of that engine here. Do you chance trying to pass on the outside going into turn one? Well, I, I, I think that Kyle could pass on the outside going into turn one if Ron doesn't run him up the hill. And Ron made the comment earlier. Kyle probably a little bit upset about that. Lights off the pace car. They'll line up two by two once again. We'll have three laps of racing to go. And how about some really good runs by guys like Nelson P.K. Jr., James Busher, Craig Ghost in the 46 running eighth. David Starr running ninth right now. Jason White running 11th. Cole Whip back in 12. Parker Kligerman 13th. Justin Johnson up in the top 15. Some pretty good strategies, too. I mean, you think about Peters, he got two tires, and he's sitting here in third place. He's in pretty good shape, too. There's our Aaron's lucky dog, the 66 of Justin Marks. When they come back to the start finish line, it will be three laps of racing to go, and that is the scheduled distance. This is not a green white checkered finish. We hope we don't have to go that direction, right? Well, and just to add to what Darrell was saying about the two tires on the 17, Butch Hilton reminded Timothy Peters, he said, do not forget, you don't need to be a hero here. We got you in position to get a good finish. If you can win it, do it, but don't get yourself in trouble and forget that you only had two tires and the rest of those guys got four. Well, Ray, I tell you, I think he's sitting in a pretty good spot here because if the 33 and 18 go off the corner down here mad at each other, they may take each other up the hill. Peters drives by. We saw that happen with Todd Bodine and Mike Skinner in one of our top 10 moments. Ready. The field two Ready. by two coming back to the green flag. Uh -huh. Hornaday back in the gas. Green flag back in the air. Kyle Bush a little slow off the restart. Hornaday nailed it. He got him. How about Timothy Peters? Kyle's going to drive back by on the outside. He's going to hold that throttle down. I'm Here there. comes the momentum of the run. 18. Kyle Bush rockets out of turn number two. He'll look to the inside. Can he make the pass? Payback. Here I come, just like you. Still there. Kyle Bush. Kyle Bush. you up the hill. Clear, Holds clear. it down on the yellow oh, line as they go now. through three and four. Come he comes go. out through the triangle. Two laps of racing to go. Nelson P.K. is waking his way around to Timothy Peters in the 17 as they go to turn one. Nelson P.K. Jr. takes third away from Timothy Peters. He runs the high line. Now they're side by side. It's a nice run off turn two over there. Got some momentum down the back. Goes by the 17 of Peters. James Bush are also passing on the outside of that 88 of Matt Crafton. This time, coming out of turn number four and into the trial. Kyle Bush will see the white flag go in the air. Right One here. more time around. You think Kyle Bush was on a mission after he lost that lead to Ron Hornaday? Oh, yes. <laughs> no question about it. Now Hornaday trying to hold off the eight of Nelson P.K. Jr. A great oh, run. What are they got? A bobble by the 33. Down to the inside goes the eight of Nelson P.K. Jr. They race down the back stretch for second. Here comes the 17. He's taking a look underneath the Ron Hornaday. Nelson P.K. Jr. trying to hold it on the bottom of the racetrack. Way up the track goes Hornaday. Timothy Peters is going to take third away. Coming through the trial. It's Kyle Busch winning at Nashville. They come three wide across the line, 23 forward. I think it was Cole Witt, man. That was a race. Awesome job, guys. Awesome job. Awesome job, Eddie DeHunt. Way to wheel that thing, Mr. Bush. That's <laughs> awesome. 26th career win in just his 89th start.
in the Camping World Truck Series. You know, I wonder that guy finishing second, Nelson McKee Jr. I wonder if that's if we're witnessing a star being born right here in NASCAR. Well, he did a great job tonight. Watch this. Watch these guys come to the line. Ricky Cole Witt on the outside. Ricky Carmichael, Jason White down there, and he's on the apron. Right at the stripe. It is too close to call. Jason White, Ricky Carmichael, and Cole Witt, our scoring monitor, has White in front of Carmichael, but Witt in front of White. So Cole Witt scored 12, Jason White 13. What an amazing finish by Kyle Busch. His crew chief, Eric Phillips, is with Wright. Well, five races this season and three wins for Eric Phillips. Congratulations, but were you nervous at all there in those final laps? Yeah, I mean, Hornaday got us on that restart, and uh, when a caution came out, I thought we were on all right spot. Kyle, Kyle, he just pissed the bear off there was all he did and uh, poked at him a little bit. That's the, you know, everybody wants to say Kyle's calmed down, but uh, when he puts that helmet on, he's still pretty excited. And thanks to Dollar General, all these Toyota guys. Uh, Toyota's put a lot of work into some things the last few weeks, and it's paying off. I heard you say go to. I'm assuming that was secondary ignition. Was that a big help? Uh, no, that's something else. But... <laughs> okay, secret. We'll have to find out what the real deal is from Eric Phillips. Kyle Busch climbing out of his truck. He'll do his bow to the crowd. I don't think Eric's going to tell us what that go to <laughs> is. No, I don't think so either, but he had a big smile on his face. I like codes. And I tell you what, the crowd here is cheering for Kyle Busch. Yeah. They saw something very amazing right there. He put on a great performance. Led 140 of the 150 laps here tonight. Ron Hornaday coming home in the fourth spot. He's with Herbie. Well, he came on fourth, but he made this thing very, very interesting. Talk about those last 10 to 15 laps. Looks like it was second, then maybe a win. Ended up fourth, but you guys were solid all night. Well, my hat's off to everybody who works on this game. I stake him Chevrolet. Uh, Came a long ways. I mean, we, we were snug all day in practice. We qualify, we were loose, and we just started the race, we were snug again. And I just wore the right front tire off it. I mean, I, I don't know what else to say. I started backing the corner up, and, and, and it wouldn't still turn. So I got in there and tried to use the brake in the last couple of laps. I mean, I, I blew it. I mean, uh, we gave that one away, and then, then we ended up coming out four. So uh, it, it just takes a lot of people, and I got to thank them all at KHI for giving us an opportunity. Reams, take them. Uh, you, you know, there's a lot of people in there, and I'm just frustrated right now. But thanks. Now Ron Hall today, a disappointing fourth for him, guys. Well, we talked about a lot of people in front of the cameras and behind the cameras. We do want to thank you, the fans, for sticking with us. 200 races here on speed. And it was Kyle Busch who grabs the win at that magic milestone for us, race number 200. And he did it in dominating fashion, leading 140 of the 150 laps here tonight. We'll hear from him when we come back. Welcome back to Bully Hill Vineyards 200, now in the books. And the victor in victory lane. He's there with Ray. And here comes Kyle Busch out of this Dollar General Toyota. Sam Bass will walk up to present the guitar, but watch out for the NOS energy drink flying. Guitar in hand. When Kyle Busch wins, they uh, take all the hats from Victory Lane and they Lane put them in a big package. For you guys. And then uh, you put them in a storage cabinet over at your shop. My, I guess my question is, are you going to have to expand the storage shop over at KBM? I'll do whatever it takes, man. Whatever buys wins, you know. That's what it's all about. But. Um, Man, I can't, I can't say enough about this team, all these guys. Uh, happy Easter to everybody out there. It's a happy Easter weekend. So we're proud to be out here in Nashville racing in, uh, in the Dollar General's backyard. And Rick, Ellen, and, uh, and Amy are here with us. So it's really cool to have them along for the ride today. And hopefully they get, have some good luck for tomorrow. But um, I can't tell you enough about these guys on this team. I mean, phenomenal job. Toyota, this Toyota Tundra was awesome. Thanks to the uh, Triad engine guys that give me some great horsepower. And, Flexco, Butler Seats, and uh, Joe Gibbs Driven Racing Oil, of course, uh, Gillette, Marquee Jets, the fans, Camping World. It's, uh, it's a series I love to race in, I love to participate in, and Ray, I'm, uh, you're really freaking me out with the mustache, man. <laughs> Sorry, it is, it's here to stay, so you need to get used to it. And what you might get used to, Hornaday comes in and says hi, what you might get used to, too, is the fans cheering, because tonight, when you went to Victory Lane, they all stood up and cheered, so that's pretty cool. It was. Well, it was a good show. You know, I mean, it might have been boring, I guess, for about the first 140 laps or so, but Hornaday came up there and made things interesting. So 
A uh, hell of a wheel, man. I mean, that old man still gets after it, I'll tell you that. So uh, he, he definitely gave us a, a whirlwind there. And um, I pulled the same move on him that he pulled on me. You know, you just drive it off in turn three and slide up the racetrack in front of the guy. So I said, sure, all right, I'll do the same thing. You know, I got a, a run on the top, and um, he went up to the wall just like I did. And so I went to the bottom and just said, we're either both going to wreck or we're going to somehow make it out of here. So uh, we made it happen. Were you confident, Kyle, that your truck was good enough to stick down there and make that pass to get the win? Our truck was really good. I mean, it had a great feel to it all night long. And uh, Eric and the guys did a, a really good job at adjusting on it. And, um, you know, we made some minor tweaks to it much of the race there, just with the track cooling off and continuing to get a little bit better for us. So, um, you know, it was really good for us to just get some notes on it for tonight. So maybe we can help Jason out for tomorrow night. This is chassis number four, and this truck has win number six. I think he likes it. Hermie? Well, Ray, we want to catch up with Timothy Peters. Third place finish tonight. We kept waiting for those two tires to fail you, and you hung in there. Got a good night nice, solid uh, finish tonight. Absolutely. Butch Hilton made a great call to get his track position again, and uh, I tell you, it's just a testament to this Red Horse Racing team. This is what wins us championships right here. Can't thank Crescent Tools enough. Dixie Homecraft is coming on board with us uh, for this race, and uh, you know, love Nashville. We finished third last three races, so I was like, they're coming to the white. I'm like, man, we're going to get fourth again, but uh, you know, it all worked out. We got third. Uh, like to give a shout out to Mark Schmuck, you know, he lost his father last week and think about David Quay and his mama. We wish her well. So uh, ready to go to Dover, man. A good run tonight for uh, Timothy Peters. He comes home third, Rick. It's good to see the guys who, you know, have good finishes, big smiles on their faces. Obviously, you know, Timothy Peters gets a third place finish here. Ron Hornaday, not the finish that he wanted, comes home in fourth, but still a great performance. Yeah, four top fives in a row for Hornaday after having trouble in Daytona. The, the uh, teammates came out pretty well, six and seven, the Kraft and then Sauter. Be nice to see what they had to say about each other. That might be an interesting team <laughs> meeting come yeah. Monday. Celebration continues for Kyle Bush. Stay with us.